Mom! Todd, you are not running your own detective agency out of this law office. I certainly am. That is a look at Academy Award winner Marcia Gay Harden and Skylar Aston in So Help Me Todd. The dramedy series follows Marcia's character, Margaret Wright, as she hilariously hires her son as the in-house investigator at her law firm. And for more, Marcia joins us now from one of our favorite cities, Vancouver. Marcia, so good to see you. Uh, so Help Me Todd does such a great job of blending both comedy and drama. As an actor, uh, tell us, uh, is that a bit of a delight to pull off that kind of balance? You're talking about my favorite place to be right now. I love comedy. I love, love, love comedy. I love physical comedy. I love screwball comedy, witty verbal comedy. I love it. To combine it with drama and conflict and a case of the week and the mystery and the suspense and heart, which is because it's also a family story, you're kind of hitting the sweet spot for me. Um, and just it's a pleasure to do at this point in my work. It's a, just a pleasure to be doing the show. And when you said your favorite spot, I also kind of thought you meant maybe Vancouver. How, mu how much do you, do you do you love our city of Vancouver? It's so beautiful. This is real eating town. There's a lot of really great <laughs> restaurants here. You know, we're not here over the summer because we sh sh shut down, which is a pity um, because of, there's a hiking town. It's a boating town. I don't get to do much of that. I'm here in the rain. Um, it's a rain town, but it's a real <laughs> fantastic eating town. And I found a sweet little pottery studio nearby. I throw pots. And so that's how I spend my spare time. Oh. Nice. All right. So if you're into pottery, keep your eye out. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, Skylar Aston plays your son Todd in the series. In this season, Todd reaches new heights. Well, Margaret kind of experiences some new lows. Uh, what has working with Skylar uh, been like, Marcia? He, Skylar's a theater boy, and so we have that in common. So we have a rhythm that just kind of unexpectedly came so easily. Um, it's, a, it's a shared language of stage. And so it's like bringing a bit of theater to the camera, which is really fun. He's witty, he's great with a shtick, he's great with kind of funny, witty comments. He's been a blast to work with. Um, and and, and I, um, I love doing the comedy with him, I love doing the heart scenes with him. Mm. And we love watching you do it all. We also love watching you on another show. Happens to have the same name as I ours. I think I've heard of this, you yes. Know, the Morning Show. <laughs> how fun oh, has it been? Yes, have you seen it? <laughs> <laughs> how how much fun have you been, how much fun have you had playing Maggie on the morning show? She's such a badass. It's so mm. much fun to bring her to life and to watch her kind of dissect the the this path that different people are on and to manipulate to get what she needs and to watch people manipulate and to work with Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston. I mean, they're just, uh, you know, they're just bucket list ladies to work with. Uh, they make me laugh always, um, but they've been this in morning show, they've just brought some real drama and um, depth to these performances. So it's been fantastic. And I've loved being Maggie, you know, we, I'm shooting, the show up here, Todd, so I don't get a chance to join their seasons, but Jennifer um, did shoot on a Saturday and I got to be in one episode of uh, of last year. That was great. Mm. Now, Marsha, you of course won an Academy Award for playing real life painter Lee Krasner in Pollock. Biopics, they are huge at the Oscars this year with Oppenheimer, Maestro, and Nyad. And just wondering if you can give us your take as an actor, just how much pressure is there to get it right when you're portraying a real life person? For sure. I think in playing Pollock, Ed, uh, Ed Harris, who directed it and starred, um, wanted to get it right. He studied and you know, completely um, immersed himself in that world, as did I, but Ed had been in it for 10 years. So there is a lot of pressure to do that, but you're not making a museum piece. And Ed knew that. And I think that in the three films that you've just mentioned, they also understand that. It's not a museum piece. So it is, it's the essence 
of the character and the essence of the person, the essence of what they do. And I think in all three cases, they are just stunning bits of work, stunning bits of acting, stunning bits of directing. Um, and they bring this history to and, and the story to us. So I'm I'm thrilled that they're all up there for awards. Well, we are thrilled to talk to you. The second season of So Help Me Todd airs Thursdays at 9 p.m. right here on Global and is also available to stream on Stack TV. Marsh, thank you so much for the time.